goodness, we have a first place. And to present this award, the Honorable Francis Nienze, Chairman, Water Resources Management Authority, is the former Minister for Environment. Let's give him a round of applause. Honor Francis Nienze. The smile on Mwishimwa Nienze's face is this is something he has longed to see happening. But then he was better, sir. I salute you, sir. I know what you started. I salute you, sir. Karibu. We have a first place. The first place in the primary school category goes to Matadia Primary School. Oh, 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 Kama hauna Facebook, utatumia hii picha kufungua picha ya Singa. A certificate as well. And a check of one million shillings. Wait, now see a, wait, see a pro box. Yeah? Well done. Matavia Primary School is involved in agroforestry, waste management, and apiculture. The school's initiative has expanded to neighboring community and forged partnership with Kenvo community-based organizations in its effort to increase its impact. The initiative has been recognized by various stakeholders in environmental good practice. They also get a trip sponsored by Giraffe Center and three first aid kits sponsored by AR. My coffee. The fourth category of the prestigious Green Awards is secondary schools. And to present this award, uh, by the way, before I move on, uh, in this category we have third place and second place. There are no um, um, second schools that qualify to have a number one winner, which is really sad, but I'm sure you'll step up your game uh, in the next awards. To present this award, let me welcome Ashley Inwani from Crow Howard, Ashley. And the nominees are Buruburu Girls Secondary School, Kimuli Secondary School, and St. Agatha Mokuo Girls Secondary School. In third place, this one goes to St. Agatha Mokuo Secondary School. St. Agatha. My coffee, Tafadali, my coffee. This school aims to promote the use of alternative energy through use of biogas. Their biogas plant has been able to supply energy to the kitchen and is also used in the laboratory for practical lessons. My coffee, ladies and gentlemen. You win a certificate? A certificate? Just confirm. There's a Kwani. Well done. And a check of 100,000 shillings. 100,000 shillings. Congratulations. Now, through the initiative, the school has now become a demonstration center for the community. They get a trip sponsored by Giraffe Center. Ladies and gentlemen, Makofi for St. Agatha Moko Secondary School. Well done. Well done, man. Thank you very much, Ashley. present the second place award also known as the Twika Safari Award. Please give a round of applause to Christine Nyangaya from Giraffe Center. Christine Nyangaya. Good to see you, Christine. And second place goes to Kimuli Secondary School. Kimuli Secondary School. <laughs> Kimuli Secondary School is carrying out different conservation activities including water harvesting, and recycling, waste management and developed energy saving devices. 
You walk away with a trophy, a commemorative trophy so you can remember this event, a certificate. And a check for 500,000 shillings. Makofi Tafadale, well done. The students create environment awareness to the community through public barazas and local uh, community based organizations like Friends of Kinango Plateau. And they also have door to door outreach programs. The initiative has worked well as a demonstration center for the local community. Well done. Kibuli Secondary School, ladies and gentlemen. Moving very quickly, the fifth category at the prestigious Green Awards uh, 2012 is tertiary institutions. In this category, we only had third and second place. There was no institution that qualified to be a winner. So to present this award, the legend, Professor Max Moniafu from Sustainable Development Initiative Center. Max Moniafu, Professor. Max, you're a prof. Let's give this legend a round of applause. The man who was instrumental in making rugby what it is in this country. Many young men have gone through it. I almost did, but I was too weak. <laughs> Max Moniafu, thank you. Karibu sana. The nominees are Asombi Teachers Training College, Chuka University College Environmental Association, Chuka University College Wildlife Association, and Moi University, Odera, or Akango Museum Ecotourism. In third place, this one goes to Asumbi Teachers Training College. Asumbi. Well done, Asumbi. This college is involved in planting different tree species around the compound. Well done. You walk away with a certificate. Well done. <laughs> Shy, nervous, you know, I thing, very new. And a check of 100,000 shillings, well done. Asombi Teachers Training College. The tree planting program has been incorporated in the Asombi Teachers College learning curriculum whereby teachers on teaching practice extend these activities to the primary school. Well done, Asombi Teachers Training College. Give a round of applause to the legend, Professor Max Moniafu. Second place in this category of tertiary institutions, let me invite on stage the Assistant Minister, Minister of Environment and Natural Resources, Honorable Reverend Julius Murgor, to come and present this one. Second place goes to Strathmore University. Strathmore University. Strathmore University. Well done. The objectives of Strathmore Green Building is to have environmentally friendly buildings that maximize efficiency in terms of energy, water, material, and indoor air quality. You walk away with a trophy, a certificate, and a check of 500,000 shillings. Well done. Strathmore University also gets books from Sengage Learning. Well done, Strathmore. Wow. We're now into our final award. Final award is for the best overall prestigious
Green Awards. Let me invite His Excellency the Ambassador of the Kingdom of the Netherlands, Ambassador Just Reintens. You have to tell me how to say your second name. I think I got the first one right. Just. You, you, boy. Well, he can't say Kigewaga, so I'll be right. How do you say it, sir? Oh, Yost, Yost, Yost. Okay. <laughs> ambassador Yost. Not Yost, Yost. What do applause for the ambassador for that? It's for the best overall prestigious green awards. Goes to. Nanyuki Dumping Site Rehabilitation Project. Make sure you stay away from the paramedics. Yes. Well done. Well done. Well done. You walk with the trophy. No, it's your Kenya. It's not a secret. Congratulations, is my daddy. I'm very proud and I'm very happy. Congratulations, my daddy. You deserve it. I know you really deserve it. You've worked for it. Very good. 
<laughs> he didn't go to school, but at least we managed, we made to go to school. Yeah, the, the, he was a street boy, but now we know that we are going to work even for the street for the street boys there outside. Thank you very much for coming. Congratulations, my daddy. It's amazing what a little nudge can do, changes lives. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give our applause to the winners. Now very quickly, let me welcome His Excellency, the Ambassador of the Kingdom of the Netherlands, Ambassador Joost. Come and say a few words. Marco Peter Fadale. Shukrani. Shukrani, good evening. Ministers, members of parliament, um, Ladies and gentlemen, all protocols observed, good evening. I would like to tell you something that you already know. You Kenyans are living in a beautiful country. Can I tell you, can I tell you a small personal story? I will not read you my speech. When I was seven, eight years old, my dearest aunt was living in West Kenya. She was working in a school for the blind near Kisumu and she was sending me picture postcards with beautiful mountains, lakes, wildlife, everything. And then you look at the stamps and you look at the photographs and you're seven years old and you've never been abroad and you, you develop a certain longing for going to this very far place. And when I was 22, I was poor, I had no money and I decided to go to Africa and I decided to go to Kenya. I had to hitchhike. I couldn't afford to buy an air ticket. So I hitchhiked through Europe, Turkey, Middle East, Saudi Arabia, Yemen, then crossed over to Djibouti, to Somalia, and finally made it all the way to Liboy, Garissa, and then to Nairobi. I was a poor student, and what I saw on those picture postcards, I saw myself with my own eyes now. The country was still a very, was a very, very beautiful country. Now I have come to Kenya to represent my country, to represent Holland, and it still is, and it should remain to be beautiful. Um, conservation and preservation of the environment of Kenya is, I think, a very, very important issue. In Holland, I come from a flat country where we do something related to environmental management, and that is water management. We are a country of dikes, we are a country of water. And I, my, my father's house, once, when there was flooding of the rivers in Netherlands, was threatened by, by water because the dikes were, were uh, destroyed. And I still remember my father, he's 82 now, having nightmares because he was so afraid that the water would just flush away our house. It didn't happen. But it is important to do water management as it is important to do envir environmental management. That is my key message. I know that you are quite hungry. Thank you for having had me here tonight. Um, I congratulate the participants and especially the winners. And I think, although I'm not so skinny, I want to become a member of the Kenyan Green Skinny People Union. Thank you very much. <laughs> well done. Wow. Let's give a round of applause to the winners of tonight's event. Well done. Well done. Ladies and gentlemen, let me invite this amazing talent that we have in this country. Not only is she a singer and a Cora Award winner, she studied and graduated as an environmental scientist. So you can imagine the passion this woman has has in terms of protecting the environment to the hilt. She's also the World Wildlife Foundation Earth Hour Goodwill Ambassador, and also the UNDP MDG Goodwill Ambassador, and an amazing and powerful singer. Ladies and gentlemen, to entertain you, let's give a warm round of applause to the amazing and powerful Achieng Abura.
time that every single person, each and every one of us, made an effort to change the world. Man has become a liability to the very existence of this earth. It's time for change. Can we change our ways and protect Mother Earth?
Everybody has one of these, a wonderful mother, and I love to sing for my mother because she made me who I am. I know that when we're talking about the earth, we're talking about another mother. So today, the song I dedicated to my mother, I dedicate to Mother Earth. Because without Mother Earth, there's so much we wouldn't have. True? Are we together? So this is to Mother Earth. Nite Mama.
Some people that I must I must recognize also in absentia. Some people came to join us in this very important ceremony, uh, but they had to leave early. Let's give a round of applause to the Honorable Minister for Local Government, Fred Gumo. Acting, she's acting. Fred Gumo, to begin my coffee. Are you cooper? To begin my coffee, Tafadali. Uh, Professor Faith Muli. Net Fund Trustee, Faith Muller, are you still here? Amanda, ah. She's here? Faith, thank you. Thank you, so good to see you, Faith. Mr. Ole Retenio, Yusuf Shani, Net Fund Trustee. Ah, good to see you, Sir Mako. Let's give this as well, gentlemen, a round of applause. Dr. More Mugambi, thank you very much for being here. Thank you. Thank you, Doctor. Mr. Donald Kimaru, Chairman, National Environmental Tribunal. We're glad that you came to support us. And let me tell you something. Kenya has a lot of positives. We have with us the Global Goldman Environmental Award 2012. And she was given this award because of challenging the Ethiopian government for dumping waste in Ormo River, which flows into Lake Turkana. Let's give a round of applause, if you may, to Ikal Angele. Ikal Angele, are you here? Makofi Tafadali. You know you must say something. You have to say something, briefly. Um, thank you very much. 